I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. Back in the early days of F5, Big IP was our original load balancer. This whole idea of presenting a virtual IP address on behalf of the many devices behind it made it seem like this IP address was much bigger than a normal IP. Fast forward 20 years, and today, B-I-G-I-P, as it was originally written, is a family of software and hardware solutions providing intelligent traffic management, high availability of your applications, access control, security, and optimization. So Big IP is actually interchangeable between our software and our hardware, or at least it represents both. So for instance, our current Big IP version 13 software designed to run on our TMOS, Traffic Management Operating System. And then we also have hardware, for instance, like the Big IP 11,000 series or the Big IP i series. Now that's kind of slightly different and sometimes there's some confusion uh, where like things like our Viprion chassis and blade solutions come in. So that's just the, the chassis and blade is Viprion or our security focused Herculon series. But for now, we're talking Big IP. Now, all of those also run Big IP software. For instance, Viprion runs the Big IP software. So let's light up the various Big IP modules that are available and what these various modules do. Now, each of these modules are licensed and they're also obviously intended to run on our TMOS, the Traffic Management Operating System. And of course, the first one, the original Big IP is Local Traffic Manager or Big IP LTM. This is kind of the foundation. This is where you, most of you are probably familiar with, with LTM. This is where you create your virtual servers and your pools on the back end. You apply profiles and policies to the traffic. It's a full proxy architecture, being able to inspect and decrypt traffic manipulated both on the inbound request and also on the server side response. And it's kind of the basis, it's the foundation for what all of the various other modules are kind of based on. And so thinking about the name, Local Traffic Manager, this manages all the local traffic within your application delivery network, within a particular data center or cloud location. And so that's what LTM um, kind of does, the, the baseline, if you will. Next is Big IP DNS, and it was formerly known as Big IP GTM, or Global Traffic Manager. Global Traffic Manager. You might obviously remember GTM. Now, GTM can work in conjunction with LTM, with LTM local traffic just dealing with your, um, your local data center traffic, DNS not only provides intelligent and scalable DNS solutions like being the authoritative resolver for DNS uh, queries and requests out there. You can also do the security extensions, DNSSEC, but kind of taking from the old name, the Global Traffic Manager, this is the solution that will also then um, provide your DR capability. So being able to uh, swing from one data center to another. Big IP DNS can also do things like checking the IP address of the requester of the client to then direct them to either the closest data center, maybe one in the region, or the, pe the best performing data center. Because you know, the, the closest data center might not be the best performing. Uh, DNS also communicates with LTM. They work in conjunction, so DNS will you know, LTM will tell DNS, oh, you know, the resources in this data center are not so hot right now. You might want to go somewhere else. And so that's how they work in conjunction with each other. So kind of the global traffic and more importantly, your DNS, which is critically important, obviously, these days. So next is Big IP APM 
or Access Policy Manager. Now, as the name implies, it provides access policy or access control to your sensitive resources on the back end. With APM, you think of things like um, identity, identity and uh, federation management. You can do things like single sign-on or you know, SAML tokens or OAuth, things like that. And then um, it can obviously do, um, do inspections of the device. And so you can get very granular with policies within Access Policy Manager. So depending on the user and the type of device they're coming from, the security posture of that device, the type of network, mobile or LAN, all of these other inspections and conditions will then determine what resources you get access to. Now, these resources can be presented as a web top, so a you know a ver reverse proxy portal access to various web resources, or you can go full VPN. <laughs> I wrote VDI, but you can go full uh, layer three encrypted and optimized uh, VPN tunnel. Of course, I wrote VPN because APM can also provide you access to your various VDI resources on the back end, whether that's Microsoft, VMware, or Citrix. So we got Access Policy Manager. Next is Secure Web Gateway. So Big IP SWG works in conjunction with APM. You can think of Secure Web Gateway to some extent. So a lot of these solutions, these first three solutions, kind of provide access and traffic management for inbound requests to the applications themselves. Think a secure web gateway kind of like a forward proxy. And so you can then manage your outbound traffic, your outbound requests from your office network. And so being able to whitelist or blacklist certain uh, websites, filtering, outbound filtering. You don't want um, folks spending too much time on uh, various social media sites, or you're just kind of blocking those sites that might be, you know, um, uh, you don't want people to just get access to. So we have Secure Web Gateway. Next would be Application Security Manager, Big IP ASM. And ASM is our Layer 7 Web Application Firewall. And so you probably know that network firewalls work on layer three, layer four, all of the network type of intrusions that are out there. And a lot of people spend a lot of money on network traffic, but most of the attacks that are coming in are targeted to the application, to layer seven. Big IP ASM is your web application firewall to protect your applications against things like the OWASP top 10 or SQL injections those sorts of things, the um, uh, forceful browsing, that type of stuff. So that's where ASM comes in, Application Security Manager. Next, we have Big IP Advanced Firewall Manager. So AFM kind of, you can either uh, deploy it solo or you can work it in conjunction with A ASM. Um, so uh, Advanced Firewall Manager is all about the layer three and layer, layer four network, network attacks. And more importantly, those volumetric DDoS attacks. And so AFM with ASM, you got your volumetric DDoS, your layer three, your network um, firewall sitting right there. And then with ASM, you go right up the stack and then protect against layer seven, uh, protect your layer seven traffic. Remember full proxy architecture up the OSI, boom, come back down again with a separate TCP connection on the other end. So, and then we have AAM or Big IP Application Acceleration Manager. So Application Acceleration Manager does things like your optimization. Um, and that type of stuff. So using, you know, um, kind of these cool algorithms, you can manage your bandwidth appropriately, use the bandwidth 
and manage your bandwidth like you should, but also provide the optimization. So maybe there's a lossy network or high latency network, or they're coming from the other side of the world, um, those sorts of things. Or maybe you are uh, doing things like replicating a database from data center to data center, and you'd like that to take a lot shorter than what replicating databases can take these days. And that's where uh, advanced, the uh, big IP application acceleration manager comes in. So the other thing kind of to uh, wrap this all up is, so things like you probably also heard of uh, Big IQ. Big IQ, not Big IP. Big IQ would be your management solution to manage all of your Big IPs that are out there. You probably also heard of our Silverline service. So this is uh, web-based. Um, a web-based kind of, or I should not say web-based, a cloud-based service to protect against uh, things like DDoS attacks. So instead of having the DDoS attacks hit your data center directly, send it through the cloud to the Silverline service to scrub it first of any malicious traffic before it gets sent uh, to your data center. And there's other, you know, F5 uh, as a service type offerings, type offerings that are out there. Um, the other thing is, you know, we talked about software and hardware. There's also our uh, virtual editions, our big IP VEs. Now this is the full big IP software just designed to run uh, in a virtualized environment. And yeah, so there you are, big IP, these are all, you know, full, full proxy architecture, giving you the, the, the management and the security and the high availability of your applications getting delivered to the world and even your people asking the world for applications. A little bit of what is Big IP. And now that we're way past the original point uh, there, and we just changed that to a dot, and now we're current. If you like this video, please subscribe to our Dev Central channel. Check out our other videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Peter, and we'll see you in the community.